feeling like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it's like a swim. Hello, and welcome back to the post-show wrap-up of the Shrimp Tank Podcast. My name is Lee Heisman. I'm here with my co-host, Chris Hanks. We had our KSU student of the week, Daniel Rotenberg, Roadie Music, and our guest, Bill McDermott from McDermott Financial Solutions. It was a great show. If you want to listen to the show in its entirety, download us on iTunes or even go to our shrimptankpodcast.com, and you can listen to the entire show. Bill had some great content. You know, Bill, in your financial services uh, business, you know, you, you did this later in life, and what was interesting, you were a banker first, and now you're working with clients to help them get loans and get uh, finances from a bank. It seems like you speak both languages and you have that expertise. Is that something that's integral in your success? Yeah, it really is. So actually, eight years ago when I started this business, I actually started as an entrepreneur because I was laid off as the chief commercial lender at a community bank. And so I really started a business out of necessity. Uh, but what I learned is there is a language out there that bankers speak that business owners just don't understand. And so you're absolutely right, Lee. The opportunity to interpret what the banker is saying to the business owner and what the business owner is saying to the bank, uh, I'm kind of uniquely positioned to be able to do that. And, and, Bill, I know we talked a lot about your business and how you help business owners on the show. But I can't help but bring up the your involvement with KSU Top 100 because you led that charge as far as um, our, our competition where uh, it's kind of like Shark Tank meets the voice. And you sort of led that charge despite the, the burdens of running, um, you know, a, a growing business like yours. So, um, first of all, why? And, uh, and, and, and what was that experience like for you? Well, it was a fantastic experience. Just uh, very briefly, I was on the marketing or the top 100 committee as a committee member the year before, and I uh, mentored uh, a young lady who uh, I thought I was going to change her life, and the reality is she changed mine. Uh, that momentum is really what caused me to to chair the top 100 this year, and and we had you know we had a great slate of uh, entrepreneurs, future entrepreneurs, uh, pitching their businesses. So it was an awesome experience, and uh, I find time to do the things that are really important to me, and the opportunity to you know share financial information with this next generation of entrepreneurs is uh, something that I'm all about. I. I want to leave a legacy of helping business owners become better financial managers. Bill, I just wanted to ask you to expound on this this idea of being you're getting started as an entrepreneur later in life. You know, how do you how do you go about making that jump, that leap of faith when you're you know you have real bills, you have you have real bills, you have real life things to handle. So, what do you have to say to somebody that's dealing with that right now? Yeah, so uh, so I launched my business. Actually, what I did, someone much smarter than me suggested I read a book. It's uh, The E-Myth uh, by Michael Gerber. Uh, it basically, the essence of the book says you create a prototype for your business. And out of that prototype was really kind of a small business plan. So it doesn't matter if you're 54 or 44 or 24. The reality is, if you have a dream and a passion for something, start the business. And somehow, yes, you have bills to pay, and, and that's incredibly important. Um, but, you know, I also, I think there's a book titled Do What You Love <laughs> and the Money Will Follow. And that's really true. It's very true, Bill. Thank you. Words of wisdom. So, you know, if people want to use your services, you know, if they want someone who speaks the banking language, but also speaks the entrepreneurial language, which is you. How would they get in touch with you? Yeah, they can uh, check us out on mcdfs.com. Uh, we also tweet on Twitter at Banking Solved. Uh, or you can call us at 678-597-8184. So, you know, it, it, this is a theme, guys. You know, Bill talks about being an entrepreneur later in life. And the problem is, Bill, you're a little bit older than me and you tweet, but I still don't tweet. So that might be a bigger <laughs> issue here. Yeah, I need well, to start tweeting. Full you. disclosure, Meredith does the tweeting. <laughs> uh, so Meredith Blinder is our marketing manager, and she's very savvy at social media. And we talked about this on the show, guys. I made sure I gave a shout out. I've worked intimately with Bill for the past year. And, you know, Meredith runs the shop beautifully for you and allows you to utilize your expertise and her to organize it, I guess you could say. So thank you for coming on the show, Bill. Again, guys, uh, this is a great show. Download it in its entirety. Listen to Bill's entire show and all the content. And thank you so much for watching the Shrimp Tank Post Show Wrap-Up.